Forensic Science Department, AJK College of Arts and Science, Kondito. Today we will be discussing about the importance of higher in forensic science. As a forensic scientist, we will be getting higher in many cases, as like rape cases, robbery cases. In many cases, we will be getting higher. So it is important to know about the higher. So if imagine you are getting the higher having the blood. So first thing you have to do like you have to air dry it before packing. Proper chain of custody is important in forensic science. So, uh, if you are getting higher with any body fluids, you have to air dry it and then only pack it. Then only the proper analysis can be done. And then we will be going through the uh, different cycles of higher. Uh, mainly, uh, higher will be go in three stages: anagen, catagen, telogen, and then again the cycle will be we start. So, anagen phase is known as the growth active growth stage. Uh, normally, it will be two to six years. Uh, of it will be period of two to six uh, six years, and uh, the root you will be seeing the root here, and the root will be supplied with the blood. So nutrition, everything will be supplied here, and so it will be actively growing at the period of the anagen phase, and then it will be moved to the catagen phase. In catagen phase, it will be only lasting for two to three weeks because it is a transition stage between the anagen and telogen. So it will be in. It will be taking only little period of time. It will be only two to four weeks of period will be enough for that. And during the catagen, it uh, the root will be form the club shape. You can see here the club shape. Uh, it will it won't be having any uh, blood vessels or anything. So nutrition won't be supplying. It will be going into a transition stage. And then again, it will move into the telogen phase. It will be like follicle rest stage uh, during that period no any growth or anything will be happening here uh, so it will be lasting for about three to month period three to five months of period and as a forensic scientist you will be needing higher mainly in the anagen phase if you are getting the higher in anagen phase you will be easy to get the dna's from this higher follicles and then uh, do the individualization and everything and uh, in from higher, it's not, it's not like that you will be getting only blood or DNA. Uh, from higher, you can look for the poison cases also. You can use the higher as an evidence. Nasheed, like, what is higher? Higher is the appendage of the skin that grows out of an organ known as the higher follicle. You can see in that picture higher follicle. From the higher follicle, the higher is growing. It is an appendage of the skin itself. So, the soft is composed of the three layer cuticle, cortex and medulla. So the soft is the outer portion that you are seeing here. This is the soft. Uh, so soft is having the three layers which are the cuticle, cortex and then medulla. We can look at the uh, we can look on the details of the each three layers because these three layers will be helpful for you to differentiate uh, the hair between animal and human. Uh, cuticle, first we will be discussing about the cuticle. The cuticle is formed by overlapping scales that always point towards the tip end of the hair. Uh, cuticle, uh, as we say, like cuticle is formed by the overlapping scales. These scales are the, called the specialized cells or keratinized cells. Uh, the scale patterns can help in the species identification. As we said, like the cuticle, cortex, and medulla, these three layers can be helpful for the species identification, which is one of the most important use of the higher. So, higher cuticle is composed of a specialized cell, specialized cell known as the keratinized cell. You can look this term, keratinized cell. It is one of the most important feature because this keratinized help prevent the higher from the degradation. That and it also helps for the uh, storage of the or uh, preserving the structure of the hair for a long period. So this keratinous cell is made up of an amino acid known as cystine which helps in the cytin cytin type bond which helps that's the reason we are getting higher like for an after a, even after a long period we can use the higher as a forensic evidence because it will be lasting in structure for a long period of time. Uh, what's the reason keratinous cells? Keratinous cells is having the sulfur sulfur dipond which will help them to prevent the degradation. So next we have already mentioned like the higher is composed of three principal parts cuticle, 
with cuticle, like outer coating of the uh, hair, it will become composed of the keratinized cells and then it will become in the cortex, then inner part will be the medulla. Medulla can be uh, seen uh, in some some species or it cannot it can be also absent in some species in humans it's like uh, some cell having like it can be fragmented or absent uh, and the cortex is like protein rich structure around, around the medulla contain the pigments cortex is having the pigment granules and the medulla uh, is carrying the different structures different structures means like it can be seen in the continuously it can be seen in some species it can be seen like fragmented and some it can be inter interpreted so hair is composed of the three principal part is cuticle uh, cortex and medulla we had already mentioned uh, discussed about the cuticle it is the outer coating composed of the overlapping scales and then comes the cortex which is the protein rich structure around the medulla and contains the pigments everything like pigment granules can be seen in the cortex then comes the innermost part is like medulla the central part will be the medulla and uh, it can be uh, either continuous or interrupted or fragmented so uh, in humans mainly it can be either absent or in fragmented also you can see different spaces will be having the different structures in cuticle uh, medulla cortex so you can differentiate between the species by assigning the structures of the higher uh, the cuticle varies in, in its scale like uh, how many scales are there per centimeter how many they overlap how how much they are overlapping uh, their thickness their overall shape everything differs from uh, species to species so it will be helpful for differentiating between the species and then also its pigment its thickness all can be helpful for the forensic examiner. The cuticle scales always points away from the root end towards the tip of the hair. It's also is an important point. Uh, the cuticle scales always points away from the root end. Then scales can be uh, scan, scales can be useful because it will be helpful for differentiating between the species. And I had given the three pictures and three most common. Uh, scale patterns this is spinous coronal and imbricate imbricate can be seen in the human species uh, and coronal is like rarely are seen but mostly imbricate can be seen in human species uh, so spinous in the structure itself you can see like spinous uh, having the petal shaped structure is having to having a petal shaped structure and coronal like crown shaped structures you can see and imbricate is always like it is flat uh, regularly without any spaces it's arranged regularly without any spaces uh, flat uh, flat uh, then cortex is the less nest layer when you are discussing about the nest layer is the cortex it is the largest part of the hair and you can see the pigment granules the, it is pigmented uh, pigment granules are small dark solid structures that look like grains of sand uh, and uh, in cortex itself you can see the melanin pigment in humans the pigment granules are found in the cortex closest to the cuticle in animals and in uh, humans the arrangement of the pigment granules will be also different so in the uh, humans the these pigment granules can be seen closer to the cuticle but in the animals the, these granules can be seen in near to the medulla compared to that of the humans and these uh, uh, medulla uh, can be as we said like in the, it can be classified as the continuous interrupted fragmented or absent here is a picture of the uh, medulla structures it can be either uh, fragmented or interrupted or continuous so medulla is the innermost layer of the higher structure and it can be seen like a cylindrical tube uh, and in different depending on the species it can be the, seen in different shapes uh, like fragmented it can be seen if interrupted it can be seen and continuous and so it can be seen and in humans it more it's more mainly amorphous structure uh, but in animals it's mainly uh, uh, it's mainly 
morbidities will be having like medulla layer will be having the morbid compared to that of the humans so these all uh, these all can be useful for the examining the higher uh, to differentiate between the human and animal and uh, another important point in, is that uh, we have to look on the medullary index uh the animals higher and the human higher having the different medullary index uh, medullary index is that is the diameter of the medulla divided by the diameter of the hair so we can look the medullary index by using this formula like the diameter of the medulla by the diameter of the hair is useful to get the medullary index in humans it will be less than that of the 1 by 3 but in animals it will be more than that of the 1 by 2 so by looking on the medullary index we can uh, we can look whether the higher is of the animal or human so by calculating this medullary index you just want to look under the stereo microscope so you can be measure the uh, diameter of the medulla and diameter of the higher by using the stereo microscope and um, as i said like a human higher can be used for the individualization and uh, as like from the human higher uh, from the human root hi higher root you will get the epithelial cells uh, these cells will be having the dna which will be help helpful for the individualization purpose uh, and also race determination can be done uh, like um, negroid cascoto negroid hairs can be having human hairs hairs have different functions in forensic science it can be used for used for the individualization purpose Uh, like uh, from the higher root, you can get the epithelial cells. From that epithelial cells, what you will do that the, you will extract the DNA by using any methods. Like uh, you can do the uh, silica coli extraction method or anything. Like you will extract the DNA and then uh, you will use that DNA uh, for the DNA typing. Then you can get the individualization. You can do the individualization. and you can also do the race determination the different race people will be having the different uh, types of hair its morphology will be different and also uh, there are multiple uses from the hair if if the hair is having the blood or anything then you can extract the dna from the blood itself or you can also tell the age of the person like and uh, from which part the hair is taken everything like if the hair is taken forcefully or not by looking on this uh, hair root only uh, as i discussed earlier like um, hair can be used for the different purpose individualization purpose is possible uh, then race determination is possible and also uh, it is possible to determine with uh, from which part the from which body part the hair had taken because uh, while examining in under the microscope the beard beard uh, having the different morphology and your scalp hair will be having the different morphology by examining this you can get the uh, understand like which from which part it has taken uh, and uh, you can also say like from looking on the hair root you can also say like whether the hair is taken forcefully or it's just set down hair or anything uh, the hair and the urine can be used as a complementary drug detection techniques like uh, you can detect the presence of drug from the urine and the hair urine will be giving the short term use of the uh, drug but from the hair you will be getting the long term drug usage history you will be getting from the hair so hair is playing an important role in many cases like from the rape cases you if you are getting the hair uh, ha having the semen you can examine the semen from the hair or hair can be used for the like robbery cases it will be easily get Uh, in many cases, it can be used to get easily get because it is light weight and it is easy. Since it is light weight, it can be easily transferred to one object to other object, another object. So, uh, linking between the suspect and the crime scene or the linking with the suspect and the victim can be done using the examination of the hair. Uh, and uh, and even in the poison cases, as as I said early. it can be used to determine the long term drug usage history also we can do and then one of the important role of the hair is that we can do the individualization from the hair for the individualization process will be uh, we can do the dna typing method for before the dna typing what we will do like you have to do the microscopic examination 
because after the DNA uh, extraction, a part of the higher will be damaged. So after that, you can do the microscopic examination. First, do the microscopic examination and make sure that uh, the uh, root is having the enough epithelial cells. Then forward to the uh, DNA typing. So. If you have the enough number of cells only, the DNA can be extracted easily. Uh, otherwise, like from one from one higher root, it is not that much possible to get the DNA without any blood or body fluids or cells. So I always prefer the ana uh, higher at the anagen phase of the growth. Uh, then uh, make sure that after examining the microscope, make sure that the higher is having the enough amount of epithelial cells or a higher is having the uh, body fluids uh, so that you can forward to the uh, DNA analyzing method.